So we've had a bit of fun to start off our trip. I'll have to go shut the gate, but Darren can explain. Welcome to Paragate! So Google Maps told us to pretty much go onto someone's private cattle station and go down the main track that they send all the cattle on, which obviously didn't seem right. There's signs everywhere saying, you know, no trespassing, blah, blah, blah. So we went through, we got this creek, didn't look right, totally wrong direction. So we turned around, went back to the turn off and it says like the main green route is this way. So we're thinking, what the hell, where do we go? But luckily there were a couple of station hands like right here at the gate, spoke to them and they said, no, nah, you're in the right way, I know it's confusing. Cross the creek, follow that road, and you're sweet. So, oh, if we didn't go this way, it would add an extra three hours onto our already like, massive day of driving. So, hopefully this works and the guy knows what he's talking about. <laughs> and Briar's the gate check at the moment, Shane. She's opened these gates like five times. Also, like feeling like we're about to get murdered at any moment because we're trespassing. Oh, and now there's a helicopter in the sky. Oh my gosh. Oh my Atlanta. So that's fun. We're gonna go left. It is clearly a working station. All right. Oops. Next gate. <laughs> I hope we didn't just almost run into them and do the wrong thing there. the creek crossing that we were hesitant to do but turned out we're the right way. Now what? Now, now we go through another gate. Uh, there's just like no trespass signs everywhere. Check back in and tell you how we went. <laughs> We made it. We're back on the main road. National Route 1. We didn't get lost. Ah, all shot. Woo! <laughs> so a quick little pit stop at Hell's Gates Roadhouse for fuel because for the next 300 k's there is nothing. And I just wanted to show you, this is what the National N N N1 um, Highway in Australia turns into at this point. This is actually one of the nicer sections too. It actually is. Just dirt. A one-way dirt highway. Freshly graded, so I give them that. It's crazy, this is the highway. We are properly in the middle of the highway. Yeah. I'm loving it. Loving it. Adventure. <laughs> We're just saying, if you broke down out here, it would truly suck. Halfway now to our camping spot, a couple more hours drive, and we should be there. We have finally made it. Where are we? What have we done? We have finally made it to the NT. After two and a half months, we left Queensland, we're on the border. Here's the famous sign. We made it. <sighs> How good. my friends with those guys they're quite nice but we have made it we are officially in the nt we're territorians we're territorians well we're not but... <laughs> welcome to corrugation city this road sucks this is bad no, just like half an hour now. So we've been through the corrugation. 
directions and now we've got to go through the floods waters. Just a little like shocked that there's a water crossing that deep <laughs> on a national highway. Still getting my head around that. The sun is getting low. It's quarter past five and we've been driving. How long? Oh, so it's like 10. It's a big day. Big day. We've got a few stops here and there, but the road's pretty hectic, so we're going to pretty slow. Yeah. We're trying to look after the jet ski as well, so. Big day. Big day. Very big day. Another 20 minutes, maybe, and we should be at our campsite. Yes. Almost there. Let's go. Ski is okay. Woo. Just yeah. Standard obstacle on the M1, N1, National Highway number one. Pretty N1. deep water crossing. N1. Goes up to just below my knee. No worries. Alright. It's nice to get out of the car. There's no crocodiles here. Huh? Are there no crocodiles here? Yeah. There is. Cheese bread on the fire, Darren making his dinner, and a beautiful sunset at the end of a hard day's drive. Exhausted. Morning, back on the road again. That Morning. Three hours till we get to Loretta Station. No, Loretta Springs. Loretta Springs. <laughs> I'm trying, I actually am really <laughs> trying. It's gonna be a good day, we're so looking forward to this place. We've heard some epic things. It's like a million acres of just wilderness, adventure tracks, waterfalls, gorges. Yeah. It's gonna be fun. Yeah. And we're almost there. Almost. <sighs> we finally made it to the turn off at Lorella Springs. We've got 30, not, 30 k's to go. It's probably been one of the worst roads we've ever driven on. We've lost both our mud guards on the jet ski trailer. <laughs> the poor thing's been hammered with rocks. Not good. We've been shaking to our core, but we're almost there and it looks like it's going to be worth it. So let's check it out. <laughs> Good morning everybody. We have just woken up on a beautiful sunny day in Lorella Springs. Yes. And there's a hot spring creek just over there. So we're gonna go have our morning shower bath in the most bougie natural thing ever. Let's go. How nuts is this? So this whole river is hot. It's like a bath. It's like 30 degrees at least. And it wraps around this entire thing and it's deep. Like Bryce standing and it still stays warm. The craziest thing happened. Last night we didn't have a fire because we didn't have any wood and there's not much around here because it's a big campsite so everyone takes it. And we woke up this morning and look at this. Our little fairy godmother wood person dropped off a whole bunch of wood for us. We just woke up and there it was. Wherever it was, thank you very much. Found an upgrade for the Ranger. Definitely think this one is the go. What do you reckon? <laughs> Day one, we're heading up to Shipwreck for camping, Vadvaya, Emerald Pool and Fossil Fern. Awesome, we just got our itinerary. We've signed out, so they're not gonna come looking for us for the next four nights. Let's go explore this magical place. One of the really cool things about Lorella Springs is they've got um, kayaks and tinnies just apparently strewn all over the property and you can just grab them. If they're free, just go for it. You don't have to pay for it, you don't have to do anything. And there's one just in front of us. Let's go for a canoe. Oh. Wow. 
Look how beautiful this area is. This is Tawala. Oh, spring. And okay, you can swim here, and the water is amazing. Look at that view. We just had a fantastic swim in Tawala Springs, Paul. Beautiful. Very refreshing after the little walk up. You can drive your car all the way, but we just didn't want to chop the tires and we've been sitting in the car for so long. We just thought, why not? Why not? Where are we off to next? Ship Creek? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Briar is the captain now. Oh, I've done that many gates. Do we all airborne there? Look at me doing the things! Woo! And a muddy creek crossing for Briar to make sure she gets across safely. There's one rock she needs to look out for, I'll just let her know about, and let's watch her go. Things. Whole, Killed them. A whole bunch of sand. Oh, now a bunch of bull dust. <sighs> Tell you what, it's a little nerve wracking driving through that stuff. arrived at the water slides in Indiana Falls, straight down this path, 1k. Let's go. So to get to the water slide and like all the attractions and stuff, you got to follow these little pink markers and they're not very clear. We almost got lost, but luckily Bryce spotted the, the wrong turn and we turned around, picked up the trail again, we're orienteering. It feels like it. <laughs> <laughs> Onwards. You feel like a mountain goat? Yeah. That was graceful. I just fell over. Cool is this place. This is water slide. Next, Nanny's retreat. Right? Stop on our list of Laurel Springs is Musterer's Cave. And apparently, it's a cave that they used to store supplies in during the wet seasons. So they could still look after the cattle and not have to go all the way back to the homestead. Pretty cool. 200 meter walk. Let's go. What have we here? A cave! With some drawings. That's pretty 
Jo. Oh. Ah. Next destination is the Arch and it's a cheeky 400 meter walk from the car park and promises great photos. Here it is. Next stop on our massive action packed day is Valley of the Springs Hot Spring. Briar, what have you found? It's like a 35 degree warm bath. Yeah. Clear. Look how clear the water is. Spring. <laughs> it's very small though. Yeah. Let's see what the path takes us to. We get to bigger so we can have a quick little dip. Ranger, looking good. Bit of bush bashing. That was a bit disappointing. We can't find any other springs. Yeah. Maybe it was just that little hole of water. It was a bit misleading, but anyway, here we are. We're going to make the most of this little hot spring. We're going to have some little snack and soak our feet after a lot of walking. And we've made it. Final stop of the day. Nanny's retreat, also our camp spot, and we did it. Apparently the sunsets here are amazing, so we made it just in time. We got some snacks, we're gonna do 800 meter walk, and check it out, this place looks pretty cool. We spent seven hours driving around and checking out the property. It was an action packed day, but it was it good was, fun. But it was nice, it didn't feel like we were driving all that much. Yeah. We had swam like four times. Four times swim? Kayaked up the river at Crocodile yeah. Springs. We checked out some arches and caves and went to the water park, slid yeah. down the slide. <laughs> the water slide. <laughs> and good fun. found a valley of a hot spring. We did. <laughs> a hot spring. <laughs> all in all, good fun. Let's take a sunset out. And I think we found it. Oh, it's so clean. Wow. It's crystal. Thank you.
morning. After a pack up from Nanny's retreat this morning, we have driven just up the road to La Spa and Fern Gully water holes to check them out for a morning swim before we head further along to the beach. La Spa? What? We have just pulled up and set up at a beautiful little site called Rose's Rock Pools. We've got the camper all set up. Briar's got the fire going because we're doing a roast tonight. Briar's already jumped in the little pool that's right in front of our campsite. And because we've got unlimited water, set the joker up, which means you can have a nice hot shower where I can wash your hair. Happy days. All in all, this is a nice, beautiful little spot. Another day exploring Lorella and we are at Monarch Rock so we're going to climb up that big rock behind us. There it is. And see what we can see. Just got halfway up and look at the stones in this rock. They're all stuck in. just pulled up to the nudie hot springs it's just a name apparently you have to wear clothes <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> you okay oh. you okay yeah i'm gonna bust a plugger no i used to go on film don't know if i'm gonna put that in the next video did you have a nice trip And here is the sauce. Here's the sauce of the hot. How crazy is that? That little stream feeds this whole hot water spring system out of this mountain. Toasty. Yeah, it's warm. It's like a fresh bath, that's how hot it is. Mm. Just driving along the road in Lorella and we came across something that reminded us of our telegraph track trip. Oops. How did that happen? That thing must weigh like a hundred tons. What are we doing? I don't know where we are or the name is called, but we found a boat and we're gonna have a little boat picnic in the middle of this billabong. While Darren rows me. It's like a romantic oh, the best romantic little thing. Oh <laughs> your oars. <laughs> Show the people what I'm working with. It's <laughs> like being held together by nails. You're doing fabulous. Thanks, man. <laughs>
This is our final morning in Lorella Springs. We're just packing up. Bryce putting some of the last things into the car. We've had an awesome time here. There she is. She's hiding from me. <laughs> <laughs> now we've had an awesome time today. This place is beautiful. There's so much to do. It's just it's awesome. The hot springs are amazing. We just had a nice swim yes. for a morning bath in the spring. That is literally we found just the there. the best campsite at the homestead. It's so good. Have a look. I'll show you where yeah. the spring is. So this. A beautiful campsite, obviously, and literally, huh? Just here. How good is that? And this water is easy, like 30 degrees, maybe even more 40. It feels like a bath as soon as you get in. It's just, mwah. unfortunately, we do have to drive that terrible road out of here get shaken all about again. Hopefully the car holds together. Hopefully the ski survives. We'll see you on the other side.